Things must be pretty slow around here if you got the time to put the sting on me. Do you know what you've done? Accuse the boy of committing a capital crime merely by being born. I took the lips the second at Yale, and uh, in the middle of Lord Barclay, I started doing Hamlet's speech, and the whole cast was on stage. <laughs> I'm, on a, I'm on a big high platform, and all of a sudden, it's opening night, and I'm doing Hamlet. <laughs> And in the middle of the speech, the whole cast slowly turns. <laughs> they look at me like, are you doing Hamlet? <laughs> and I found my way back out of it and back into my speech and finished it. And then afterwards, the director said, did I hear a bit of Hamlet up there tonight? And I said, yeah, uh, I see you doing it next year. I thought maybe I'd get an early audition in. <laughs> this skull, sir, has lain in the earth some three and 20 years. Entertainment has to cost you, or you can't have fun. You stop this, right now. Oh, that'll be a big help. Once we came across this nutcase. Hey! Manhandle me! Life is full of unforeseen hazards. You got any red licorice? <laughs> Thanks. I'm going up now. So looking at 8 to 12 inches by midnight, and temperatures well. What kind of extraordinary as people say about my acting these days? <laughs> it's such a, it's so economical. <laughs> you don't do anything. It's, it's so pure. Friends will sometimes see me on an upswing with my medication, and they'll say, I hardly notice anything. You're lying to you. <laughs> Dude, don't they, they bust me like that. You can't deny that even on a good day, I look at myself in the mirror. Yeah, and I don't like know who a, the guy is. Some monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Staring back at me. The idea for us is to rehearse for four or five weeks and put up Samuel Beckett's end game. Tie it into our, our daily life. I just felt like this guy is like talking about my, my life here, about Parkinson. And that's what it really felt like. Especially when it got to the word, have you not had enough? And, and Chloe says, yes. Of what? And I go, of this, this thing. And I thought, Parkinson's. And I thought, the room. They're locked in this room. I thought, oh, Parkinson's. One guy can walk, one guy can't. Parkinson's. It's the it, perfect play. Plus, it's funny. And the, the, the fact that it dovetails perfectly with the symptoms of our Parkinson's. Uh, it doesn't hurt the matter at all. We've got an immense amount of talent that's bottled up, being held inside. And the problem is, we can't do much. <laughs> two actors with diminishing physical abilities playing two characters with diminishing physical abilities. It's not just about the play. It's not just about our lives and our families. It's not just about the world of this disease. It's about all of that stuff.